just like turn around and you're just like a pile of blanket. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Welcome. I'm gonna cut all of them in half. Psychopath. <laughs> so I get one more than you. What? Because you took the big one. What? No. No. Woke up this morning to a beautiful spot out here at Lake Mead. Um, where we were was a little windy, so we moved locations. So we're at this weird, like, apocalyptic marina, <laughs> which has, like, the largest parking lots we've ever seen. Huge swaths of concrete all over the place. But we're just uh, cooking some breakfast. Blowing up some paddle boards and hopefully by then it'll be just a little bit warmer and we'll be able to get out on the water. What do you think? I always told myself I wouldn't use an electric pump, but when Hyperlite came out with their pump, it was just a little too good. And we also have four to blow up. Um, since we're gonna be sitting here a little bit, not gonna blow them up all the way. We'll finish them off hand pumping, because that's always faster, but choose your PSI and go. What have you been doing? Pumping up paddle boards all by myself. All by yourself? Yeah, no one offered to help. Sorry, babe. I thought that the, the pump was helping. Mm. I mean, yeah, it definitely helps. That was four paddle boards in like 25 minute, 20 minute. It's not bad. Nice work. Like this, up high. There she goes. The Aquaminx. So after about a 20 minute paddle, just to get out of the marina, we have finally made it into open water. Tara's still unsatisfied though. She, uh, she says we're not out there until we're out past there. So we've got uh, got about an eight mile paddle today. Ambitious lady, that's what I like about her. Normally it's me who's uh, always saying we should go around the next corner, but uh, when it comes to paddle boarding, little Miss Minx over here is the one saying we need to go farther to see more. <laughs> she takes her paddling very seriously. For some reason I always poo-poo with Lake Mead. <laughs> and I'm not really sure why. I just thought that uh, Lake Powell was pretty much the ultimate and there was nothing better. But it is really nice here. The water's nice and clear. It's beautiful. It's kind of a little bit more mountainous. I, I definitely like it. Definitely gonna have to try and uh, convince I probably to take a trip here someday for a, for a nice video shoot. This is the uh, the wild minxes natural environment. Lizard lounging on water <laughs> and hand softly draped. Wants to feel the cool, but not too cold. Not too cold. <laughs> the wind has completely died down now and it is a mirror. You don't get glass days like this too much on paddle boards. There's normally always like at least a little bit of wind. But this is pretty sweet. How was it? <laughs> Whoa! guys I feel like you're gonna get on our board and like eat this out of my hand here you want to see where we're at ducks where are we they know but they can't say why is that they don't speak the same language oh what do they what do they speak quack and ease 
So we've made it about three miles in. There is no one out here. There is no wind. It is pretty incredible. Okay, I'm recording already, so. Whoa! Let's get this Save that. <laughs> also, is this? can we? Can we just look at your hair? <laughs> it's very cute. What's wrong with it? You'll see. What do you mean, I'll see? <laughs> You'll see once you edit this video. Oh. Ah, I missed it! God Babe! Dang it, Age, I missed it! It's a wide angle lens, I'm sure you got it. Alright. Nice. Sean Glad Van Dam. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> gonna work. Oh! <laughs> Finished up here at Lake Mead. It was a pretty incredible day on the water. Yeah, the wind was down pretty much all day. We got about seven miles in of paddling. And uh, I mean, the views were just incredible. Oh, you're really committing to this. <laughs> Loud noise. Paddle crew. You just get a tight roll there, don't you? Is it too tight? No. Oh. Can't be tight enough. Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, babe, just got off the lake. Yeah. How was the paddle boarding for you? Your first time paddling on this trip? And in a long time. It's was it everything? A while. That was it everything that you wanted and needed? Yeah, I like it. But I could do it again. <laughs> more hanging out, more swimming. You know, it's good. Sun's starting to go down, so we're making our way to our next uh, campsite. It'd be a interesting drive down. Apparently it gets pretty washed out. Nervous. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully we don't have to turn around. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Where you want me to go? I was gonna do dishes. Mm. What? AJ getting shots for the gram. That was a good one. I gotta do the hair flip and then the butt out. Like. Oh, whoa! That was. <laughs> that was intense. Uh, that's Instagram posing 101. Ah, very nice. For men or women? I don't subscribe to gender norms. Or, or animals. Anybody. Oh. Anybody. You just put out that much vibe, you're going to be an Instagram star. <laughs> Good answer. All right, babe, what do we have on the menu tonight? Uh, a variation of vermicelli salad. So we got a big old salad. We got some noodles. We got some chicken. We got some green beans over there with some garlic. And a delicious marinade, which should be a fantastic meal. Tell me about your favorite part about today. We truly feast in van, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like... It's like what? Delicious meals. Can't mess with our meals. Well, the first half of these vlogs, we just ate hot dogs. 
but you know, we'll make oh, up for it. The hot dog meals are just as good, okay? 